Right, ladies and gentlemen, we are just about to get underway on fight number six for this evening. Fighting out of the red corner, we have Arik Karazeski. Uh, he's representing Team Red Dragons. This is his third fight of his career. He's had one, one win, one loss, wasting no time at all. Getting, getting straight into the thick of it. His opponent is Alexandra Bertilla. Bertilla, this is his second fight. His uh, previous bout, he managed to secure a victory. Let's see if he can do the same here again. He is wearing the, uh, the longer trunks. Fighting out of the blue. So looking there by Patilla. Checked. Rosefsky. Rosefsky there. Landing that low kick right from the midsection of the thigh. And swiftly replied by Bertola. Oh, nice high kick there by Kozefsky. That has put Bertilla down. He's going to take account for that. Tiller's got his hands up. Referee signaling the fighter to go to a neutral corner. He's going to take a count. This is quite a lengthy count now. In the confusion. His eyes don't look completely clear though. His eyes don't look completely clear. He's holding his hands up. Oh, Karabzewski sensing, sense, smelling blood. Sensing victory here. But it could be too early to wipe the Tiller off yet. Taking his time, his hands nice and high. Kozeski just seems to be uh, easing off the gas a little bit here. Maybe he senses that there's still life in Patilla yet. Might have just been more of a flash knockdown. Oh, I think he had him in trouble there. Nice combination of punches there by Karabzewski, followed by a low kick. An attempting spinning back kick. Disapproving crowd here. The referee's gonna get these two back on the way. Not quite reaching them up. A nice combination put together by Karazewski. That was a strong round for Karazewski there. After an explosive first round, let's see what the second round has to offer here. We've got Karabzewski fighting out of the red corner with the black trunks and the gold trim. And his opponent with the longer venom pants, we've got Alexandra Bertilla. Reaching overhand there by Bertilla, but some strong looking knees there being landed by Karabzewski. Uh, nice catch there by Karabzewski. A clean shot to the body, straight cross to the body. 
Bit of loading up here, Karaszewski really throwing some powerful shots in. Gumshield now starting to troop from out of Karaszewski. I wonder if he's just trying to catch his breath. This is going to be a very difficult pace to maintain, but he's looking strong, he's looking fit. A bit wild, a little bit crazy, a little bit unorthodox, but dangerous nonetheless. Big overhand right there from Bertella. Again, telegraphed that, coming from quite a long way away. It wasn't too difficult for Karaszewski to cover that one up. And Karaszewski really mixing those shots up. He's going to the body, he's going to the head, he's trying the kicks in. Really difficult for uh, Bertella to be able to comfortably defend against him this. Again, at the end of the day, Karamzewski is only human. You can only maintain this pace for a certain amount of time. You have to fill the gas tank back up. Batilla can weather a storm here, which he seems to be doing so far. You see the Gumshield getting further and further out of the mouth of Karamzewski there. He's taking deeper and deeper breaths. He's starting to slow down. Those flurries are coming less frequently now. Now it's one, two shots. This could be the time for Batilla to start to capitalize. Let him. Let Karabzewski burn himself out and then pick his shots a bit more carefully. If you're exchanging the storm when they're throwing everything got on their picks, someone's going to get knocked out. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're just about to get underway of the third and final round of this explosive sixth bout of the evening. Coming in at the same sort of pace as he's been going for the majority of the early starts of the first and the second round. Whereas uh, this time it looks like uh, Bertilla is now up in the pace slightly. Maybe sensing that he might be ever so slightly behind, slightly behind, should I say, on the judges' scorecards, and perhaps feels that there's a little bit of uh, a gap that needs to be closed down, perhaps. Looking strong, he's got that steely-eyed, determined look on his face. A man with a job to do here tonight. Kazaraski now almost seems to be running from Bertilla there. Didn't fancy being in that corner. Again, the referee just trying to separate these two nice and quickly. Bertilla, Kazaraski. Bertilla opted to do a little bit more boxing again. He's swinging that big overhand right, and it's a bit of a hit and hope style punch. It's one of these kind of telegraph. You can see it coming a long way away, but at the same time, if it does manage to get through a sloppy guard. It could be one of those decisive blows that ends a fight. The, uh, the, the shin guard is once again loose. Doing something for the corner teams to think about when they're getting the fighters ready, maybe taping them up, strapping them up, getting them ready. And the timekeeper will get back on the way now. Last 30 seconds this fight. Patilla looking like he's pushing the pace here. Oh, the referee. I would be surprised if we didn't give these guys a warning for that. Tempers are flaring. These guys look like they're losing their composure here. I'm surprised the referee didn't give them both a warning for that. Gumshield has come out of the mouth of Kadavaski. We're coming towards the closing seconds of this fight here. Again, referee having to stop once more for Team Red Dragons fighter, Alec Kadabraski.
Point favor. 